Have you ever played Street Fighter 2, Mega Man, or Final Fantasy? All these games have characters doing weird little movements in the game. And it's not just these, there are a lot of games, old and new, that are full of these strange little actions. When you play video games for most of your life, you tend to notice things. You start to see patterns. Things kind of imitate each other or look the same. It's not quite copying, more like emanating from the same origin point. All these games reference one singular point in time, an event that happened on April 11th, 1974. That was the day this action, called the Guts Pose, was invented. If you think I'm crazy, just sit back and let me explain the whole thing. The term Guts Pose is attributed to a professional boxer named Yuji Suzuki, known in ring as Guts Ishimatsu, earning the moniker from being such a gutsy fighter. The term guts, referencing ability or fortitude, was not well known in Japan at the time. The earliest use of the term is found in a publication known as Weekly Guts Bowl, which was in print around the time that Yuji Suzuki took the name Guts Ishimatsu. Did he steal this name from the magazine? If so, he's never admitted it. One issue, dated November 30th, 1972, highlights different stances bowlers would take after scoring a strike. The term guts pose was used to describe this. Beyond the small circulation this magazine had, the term was unheard of. However, Guts Ishimatsu and his in-ring style was becoming well-known around the world. Overall, his career win-loss record wasn't so great. By 1974, he stood at 26 wins, with 14 by knockout, 11 losses, and 6 draws. Despite the less-than-perfect record, Guts was able to secure a title match for the WBC Lightweight Championship against Rodolfo Gato Gonzalez, the heavy favorite who had over 50 wins on his record. In the 8th round, Guts was able to knock out Gonzalez and take the title. The win was such an upset that Guts, his crew, and his family started celebrating as fans stormed the ring. In the middle of all the excitement, Guts made a strange motion with his hands to celebrate the victory. In his post-fight interview, he said that the movement in his right hand shows his own joy of winning a fight, while the left hand shows his gratitude to the audience. A newspaper photographer captured the action, affixing the name Guts Pose to the caption. This boxing match, held in Japan and won in a dramatic fashion by a Japanese fighter, made headlines across the nation. Guts Ishimatsu became somewhat of a national hero, while the term Guts Pose became a household word. Guts held the WBC Lightweight Championship until 1976. Two years later, he formally retired, with a record of 31 wins, 17 by knockout, 14 losses, and 6 draws. Soon after, he became a TV and movie actor. Years later, Guts released a novelty song, which is common among celebrities in Japan. The title, OK Bokujo, became Japan's Word of the Year in 2004. The term Guts Pose was carried over into other sports, as baseball and soccer players soon adopted the move after making crucial plays. Then it spread further into society. You often see politicians striking a Guts Pose on posters to show they can be an effective leader. Regular people started doing the action in their daily lives as an expression of happiness or accomplishment. And while not a national holiday, April 11th is celebrated casually as Guts Pose Day, where people can freely show off their best Guts Pose. Since 1974, you can find different examples of the Guts Pose in almost everything, including video games, where it's done all the time. So now, when you narrowly defeat a boss in Final Fantasy, or pull off a come-from-behind win in Street Fighter, you know where that funny action came from why it's done, and the backstory of the man who made one strange term into a permanent fixture.